Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is gonna be part of the Creators Helping Creators series that I'm making. This one here is gonna be part two, but actually the mobile version of that COPA thing. That's that Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, okay? So in my other video that I made on that, let's go in, say you're using a cell phone. You got a, a, some other thing other than a desktop computer or a laptop computer. In some parts of the world, people's cell phone, that is their computer, all right? So, and a lot of people, if you, all you all, all you techie people out there that are super duper techie, like my wife, Misdemeanor, she can do all kinds of things on her cell phone that just blow my mind, okay? Um, I used to be a real tech geek myself, but uh, kind of get out of it, but I'm more in the video anyway. So let's get into this. How do we do the COPA setting on our cell phone? And the first thing you might know is that you have that YouTube studio thing, that gear. Remember the gear, that thing's gonna be important but not this one. Don't use the app. Don't use the YouTube Studio app, okay? Don't use that. Uh, what we want to do is actually use a Chrome browser. If you have the uh, Apple iPhone or whatever, the iOS software, you're gonna have to be familiar with how that works. I don't remember anywhere near how the iOS thing works because you're gonna have to do something to kind of trick it to make your cell phone, your mobile device, look like it is a desktop computer. So let's get into it with Chrome and show you what we're talking about. The first thing, first thing I'm gonna open up here is uh, Google Chrome. Okay, that's the thing that I'm using, but everybody's gonna have the same thing, iOS or whatever. You're gonna have some kind of a browser window uh, thing. You touch on that, and now you can manually type something in here. Okay, I'm gonna put it up on the screen here Okay, I'm gonna put it up on the screen from here for you, but what I'm typing in is uh, studio. It should just already be figuring it out, right? So I typed in studio.youtube.com. It's on the screen here, studio.youtube.com. Okay, now that's YouTube Studio, the new one, but you're gonna get a mobile app. Okay, so that's gonna be a problem. It's not gonna look anything like what I was talking about, right? We can trick this. Now I need you to know in Apple and iOS or any other software thing, if you're not using Google Chrome to do this, I need you to understand how to use your software in order to get into this next part, okay? Up here in the top right-hand corner of my screen, there's gonna be three little dots. If I push the three little dots, I'm gonna drop down menu, okay? Now if I scroll that up, I'm gonna see something there that's got a little box next to it, right? Let me see if it scrolls any further, nope. So there's that one down there with the box next to it that says desktop site. That means I wanna tell my phone, don't give me that stupid cell phone thing. I wanna see the real website for the real deal. Force it to give me the desktop site. So you click on that little button right there, okay? Let me make sure it really did it. Okay. Now that little square is a blue check mark, all right? So we're in the actual uh, desktop site. Now, if you hold it, you know, this doesn't look like a real, uh, you know, internet, you know, thing, but if you turn it sideways, it does. Then it looks more like mine, right? Uh, but I want you to notice these little icons over here on the left-hand side, all right? When you're looking at the left-hand side of the screen there, all those little icons, there's no big gap there. Kind of forces everything to be on there. And you'll see that one that looks like that gear. Remember I told you to look like, look for the gear thing? It's right there. If you hold it upside, you know, the, the long way, the tall, skinny way, there's gonna be that gap. You're gonna see the gap in the icons. And then down at the bottom, the top icon is settings. So the top icon way down there, I'd have to put my glasses on to see this baby. I just happen to know where it is, but I can look at it sideways too, and I can still find it. You wanna get the one that has the gear. It looks like a gear, right? So you find that and you push the gear, all right? And then you're gonna get a pop-up. The pop-up is that same thing. Now you're looking at the same thing that I was looking at on my other video for COPA, right? That's the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, okay? So from this screen now, on the left-hand side, the shaded side, you wanna press on channel, okay? You wanna make sure you hit channel, and then you're gonna get another, the stuff on the right here is gonna change. In the center part of the right, it says advanced settings, okay? So click on the advanced settings thing, and then oh, this language here changes again. If you scroll up, okay, you're gonna get, I scrolled too far. 
But if you scroll up, you're gonna see these three questions here. The first one says yes, the second one says no, and the third one says, I have to read it, uh, I wanna do it every single time, right? So either yes, you are a child's channel. You make things for preschoolers, ABC, one, two, three, colors, shapes. You wanna train uh, the future leaders of the planet and the universe on your channel, and that's what your sole purpose is in this universe, is to train the young ones Yes, you're a child's kind of channel, right? People, we know. We know if you're a child's channel. You know if you're a child's channel. We know if we are child's, you know, a channel for children, okay? We know what this is or not. But if you're a mixed bag and you don't know one day you're gonna make something for kids, one day you're gonna make something for adults, you wanna do that third one down there to say you, you wanna change it every single time, right? So then you'll have to answer the question. You'll be forced to answer the question every single time, every time you upload a video, then you'll make the decision, yes or no, this is for kids, or no, that's not for kids, okay? Somebody pointed out, Jennifer Morales, Feline Films, okay? Give her a shout out here. She made the point that, hey, hey, you know, children only and adults only, neither one of those have anything to do with family friendly, right? So there's yet another thing to consider. So thank you, Jennifer, for uh, cluing me in on that because I actually never even thought about it. Things for kids you would think would be family friendly and everything else, but how many adults want to watch ABC, one, two, three, color shapes and stuff like that, right? So um, you're going to want to watch other things. But the other things like my channel, everything on my channel should be relatively family friendly, right? But I'm not a child's channel. I'm not a kid's channel, right? So I say no. So if you're familiar with the kind of videos I make, my answer is no. So, uh, but there's another thing that people are also doing and they're age restricting their videos. Get that back on there. They're age restricting their videos. Let me finish this up first. Uh, you answer the question however you want it answered it. Again, I say no, and then click on the save button. Just touch that save thing and you're done. So you're all set, you know, yes or no. You know which one you want to press. Uh, get it pressed and you're good to go. Now that's the channel for your channel. That's the settings for your channel. So every time you upload a video, when it comes time to answer in that question for the COPA, for the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, that answer that you just put in there is for your entire channel. So you don't have to go through, like I have 500 plus videos on my channel. I don't have to go back and answer that question. I did it for the entire channel. I don't make ch uh, children's videos. I'm not a children's video channel. So my, my videos are, you know, for everybody, you know, except people below 13 years old, right? So. Um, I'm going to talk about one more thing after I get done with this, but I want to finish this up. So you make that decision. It's for your channel. So every time you upload a video, your decision's already made. Now there's that age restriction thing. That's different. Okay. That's not this thing. It's something different, but yet you would think that it would be sort of kind of being like that because my videos, like I said, in my other Copa video, I make my videos for people who are the legal term is age of maturity, right? Whatever it is in whichever state it might be different in one state or another, but generally 18 years old or above, right? So generally you can vote in the United States. You can vote if you're 18 or above. So the idea is I make all my videos for people who are 18 or above or whatever the age of majority is in whatever part of the country or the world they're in, right? If you're old enough to make your own decisions for yourself, you're old enough to be considered legally an adult, my videos are for you. And they all, for my channel, end up being revolving around education some way, somehow. Even this video right here, right? Tell you how to put, you know, meet the COPA standard. But that age restriction for 18 and under, that is a different thing, okay? That means you have things in your video that you don't want anybody under 18 years of, or, or age to see. Now, for me, that's not true. I mean, if you're 16, 17, or if you're 12 or 13 years old or whatever, and you're smart, you're, you're uh, with it kind of kid, you know what you're doing, you know how you're going forward, uh, you got all your ducks in a row and everything else, and you've, you're above and beyond your age group or whatever, then you can watch my videos too. I mean, I really, I don't say any foul language to the very best of my ability. I don't do anything that's dangerous or harmful or anything like that. And I basically try to do things that are helpful and informational, educational to everybody, right? So to me, an eight year old could watch my videos. Not like they know what I'm talking about, but they could get an idea of something maybe, right? So, but I, I'm not a kid's channel. So for me, for my channel as a whole, the answer is no, I'm not a child's video channel, right? I'm not gonna restrict my videos to people who are 18 and above though, because that actually blurs that line. The thing, the age thing for a kid in the United States, it's gonna be different in different countries of the world and everything else, but in the United States, 
they consider a child to be 13 or less or under the age of 13. But you can figure the entire year of 13 and less, all right? Uh, basically, that's a kid, all right? Somebody seven, eight, nine years old, they're a kid, okay? That's a child for this COPA thing, all right? Um, but if you restrict them below 18, you might cut off part of the people that might actually enjoy your videos. If you make videos that are family friendly, I would say do not age restrict your videos, okay? That's my advice um, as a creator. I, mean, I can't give you any legal advice. Um, so I'm giving you advice for me as a creator. I'm not going to restrict any of my videos for 18 and older, okay? I'm not going to do that. So some people have done that, and I see it out there that it's age restricted. I'm not going to age restrict any of my videos for 18 and over because I don't think that's really what this is. That's, I'm telling you, that's not what this is all about. This is an online privacy protection thing for kids, okay? It's something completely different. Somebody made the note on one of the videos from YouTube, it's like, uh, okay, now we have to be people's parents because people's parents, you know, the kids' parents aren't being parents, right? And I saw that and I kind of laughed and I'm like, okay, whatever. So the point of the fact is that age restricting the 18 and above, that might cut off some of your intended audience that might benefit from your videos, okay? So that's a decision that each of us has to make for ourselves individually. Every channel is individual. We're all independent, per, you know, channels, independent people. So for the COPA thing, you know, go through and do what I said. If you have any questions, let's go through it again real quick, again at the end here. And uh, I'll just show you what I did is I went into, actually, let me just shut off my browser and open it up from scratch. Okay. So I go into the Google browser and it probably erased my settings here and I go into type in the thing directly and I type in studio, it'll probably come up right away for me, hopefully, right? If I type the right words. Okay, studio, studio.youtube.com, studio.youtube.com. Again, it's gonna come up on the screen here, studio.youtube.com. And the mobile phone's gonna give you the mobile app. This is wrong, you don't want that up in, in Chrome and you have to, if you know what it is in iOS and Apple or any other operating system, make a comment below and help people out, right? Creators helping creators, it's all about. Top, in the top right hand part of the screen, I hit those three dots and I scroll down to where that little square is and I say, hey, give me the real internet. Give me the real deal, like a laptop, desktop, computer and give me that's the one I wanna have, okay? So that's the one I'm gonna use and then when that opens up and everything populates and everything else, look down below, if you turn your screen sideways, look on the uh, left-hand side of your screen for the thing that looks like a gear. Touch the gear icon. It's going to open up into settings. On the left-hand side, touch channel, because it's channel settings for the entire channel. And then go ahead and hit on the uh, right-hand side, hit advanced settings, and then just scroll up a little bit on the right, until you get the three questions. Yes, you are a child's channel. No, you're not a child's channel. Or the third one is you're gonna decide on every single video, which just adds to your workload, right? So for me on my channel, the answer is no, all right? Make sure you save that at the end. In the bottom right, hit the save button. It should turn blue for you. Hit save, save your settings, and you are good to go, all right? If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, if you have a different operating system and your thing to get your uh, cell phone to look like a desktop computer is different, do everybody a favor, tell me what operating system you're using and how you have to force your web browser to show the desktop version of the internet, okay? Uh, so with that, that's gonna wrap this video up, uh, but, but drop that in the comments below for me, please, if you don't mind, and we'll pin that to the top, okay, as well. Uh, but uh, uh, let me give you, uh, don't forget to give me that thumbs up, like this video, uh, make a comment below, let me know you came by to say hi. If we have instructions for the other operating systems, I will pin that at the top so it doesn't slide down. And then um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate the growth on the network. And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.